One question that's commonly asked is, how long does table tennis rubber last? That's a great question. There's a number of factors. One factor is what type of rubber you have. Another one is how well you take care of it. And yet another factor is what style do you play? How many hours are you getting on the table? And how hard do you hit the ball? So there's some factors. Um, this rubber that I'm using is called Nitaku Fast Start G1. And it's actually one of the longest lasting rubbers. The top sheet is very good quality. Nitaku Fast Start G1 and C1 actually have the same top sheet. So both of these rubbers are really high quality and I recommend it. But how are you gonna take that rubber that you play with every single day and make it last for a while? That's a great question. The best thing you can do is clean your rubber and put it in a safe place when you're done. So how do you clean your rubber? I've got some Nataku cleaner and I've got a sponge. I'm gonna to demonstrate today how to clean your rubber. So first you take it and you spray one or two sprays on the rubber. The next thing you do is you take the greenish blue color and you just wipe it off and then wipe it onto a surface. And then you take the blue side and you wipe it the other way. And there you have it, your rubber is clean. It's really important that after you wipe initially with the greenish color that you wipe it onto something like a towel or something else. If you don't wipe it off, what ends up happening is there's dirt that builds up on it and then you're basically just smearing dirt on the rubber. So spray it, wipe it off, and then take the blue side and wipe the other way. When you're done cleaning it, then get some Nitaku um, protective sheets. Put the protective sheet on it like that and then just seal it on the edge of the table. Make sure you do that to both sides and then you put it in your Nitaku racket case and keep it in a safe place. Safe place, what do I mean by that? Well, a safe place, like some place that nobody's gonna step on, but also a safe place as far as temperature. Now that it's summer, a lot of times people keep their rackets outside in a hot car. That's horrible for your rubber, it's gonna melt your glue. So even if you're gonna be heading to the academy after work, make sure you take your racket in with you to work and don't leave it in the trunk of your car. Make sure you take care of your racket. If you've got any questions, make sure you let me know. Thanks a lot for watching.